For today's video, I'm doing a Get Ready With Me Holiday Edition, and I'm using the Lavish Palette from Anastasia. This is also a collab with Rachel from Makeup Junkie 909 and Andrea Matalano, so I will link their channels right here, somewhere in this area. Um, so make sure to go like their videos, subscribe to both of their channels. They're both really awesome and really sweet. So make sure to check them out. Also be sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. And with that being said, um, keep watching if you want to see how I created this look. So this is a close up of all the colors in the palette. And for what I created today, I used the entire bottom row. The first color that I'm going to use is Ballet, and I'm going to focus this color all over the eyelid. Next I'm going to take Orange Soda with a very fluffy brush like this one and just put this through my crease. Next to line my eyes I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. Now that we've applied eyeliner, I'm going to go in with Pink Sapphire from the palette and put this very lightly in our crease. With a fluffy brush like this one, I'm just going to blend this out and then go back in and little by little you're going to keep repeating those steps. Next, I'm going to take Black Diamond and go over the Pink Sapphire color. Now that you've done that, you're going to take Sienna, which is a little bit of a reddish brown shade, and with a very light hand, take a little bit of that on a fluffy brush and you're going to blend that with the pink sapphire and the black diamond. A way that you can use um, shadows very lightly is to hold your brush really far away. If you hold it very close, you're going to get a more firm and um, harsh line or like harsh eyeshadow on your eyes. So if you hold it further away like this, it makes it a lot lighter. I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm going to use my Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua Foundation. And then to highlight my inner corners and on my face, I'm using the YSL Touche Claw, and this is in number two. I'm just putting it right here to really highlight so that you don't have dark circles. I'm going to take that ballet color right on the inner part of the under eye and then pink sapphire a teeny tiny bit of black diamond in the outer part of that under eye area. In my inner corner I'm going to take the incandescent light powder from the ambient lighting powder from Hourglass. This was limited edition for holiday and I know that they are completely sold out at the warehouse. So I think the only place that you can buy it now is if someone is selling it like on Amazon or eBay. But if you find one at a good price, I'd get it because it's awesome. Then to go over my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Reflex Gold from MAC. And any fallout from the Reflex Gold we can just clean up later with a powder brush. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. This is my Shuamara Eyelash Curler. I'm going to use my Dior Maximizer. It's a lash plumping serum. I use this every day. It really makes a difference with your eyelashes. It makes them longer, makes it so that it lasts longer. Um, it really makes a difference and I love it. Use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. 
I'm going to set my foundation with Radiant Light from the Ambient Lighting Palette from Hourglass. That's a tongue twister. It is the darker color in the palette. I'm going to use NARS Casino for my bronzer. And I'm using MAX 109 brush to contour with. For blush, I'm using Max Plum Foolery. Going back to my Hourglass palette, I'm going to take Incandescent Light. Such a pretty highlight color. Putting this on my cheekbones. Down the center of my nose. And it's not shimmery, it's just glowy. Last but not least, I'm going to take Syrup from MAC and use that on my lips. I'm using this Dior lip gloss in number 877. It's a more plum colored one. Just a little bit. I'm going to curl my hair with the one inch Sultra wand. And I'm gonna start in the front. And I'm not gonna bring it up too high to my scalp because I want the top of my head to be pretty straight and then the bottoms to have the curl. Curl my bangs. But this did come with a glove, however, I got really used to doing it so I don't wear the glove ever, but definitely when you first get it, use the glove because I thought that I didn't need it and then I burnt myself really bad. And then for some more volume, you could definitely tease up here or grab like a root lifter. I don't like putting a lot of product in my hair, so I kind of just go like this and just tease with my brush that I'm using. I know it's like ginormous, but it'll do the trick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you like this video. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to both Rachel and Andrea's channels, which I will put right here, as well as in the information box below. Also, if you have any questions, comments, requests, please put them down in the comment section. And I think that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.